of court officials when people are going to drug court or whatever, um, or they have like mental health court. Um, usually if there's a place there that will take them, the courthouse, used, so we have relationships with the courts as well. But there was no plan of that either. So anyway, I'm trying to get figure out how to get to my next place. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these guys came and tried to open up my fucking door. And they had a gun. Listen, I, I hit the gas pedal. I don't even know where I hit, took off. Go to the police station that I already mapped out. And there was a note on the door saying that the police station was closed because they didn't have any staff. So that was a failed attempt to make a report. Um, and I was so shaken up. I contacted our director, never heard from him. I called my boss, um, well, my temporary boss, you know, the guy that was kind of head of our team at the time. And, you know, he's just trying to save his fucking ass. You know, this he has a kid, you know, he's just like, well, we gotta stay here. I'm like, how am I gonna pay for a hotel? Like, I just got carjacked and people want me to stay in a goddamn hotel that I pay for so I can get up the next day to be unsuccessful with marketing in a place we didn't have a plan at. Um, I went home. I was terrified. I was so <laughs> traumatized, especially someone who was a victim of a horrible, horrific home invasion um, with horrible things that happened to me. Like, that carjacking, like, almost got me, you know? <laughs> um, so anyway, let me get my stuff here. We, um, so I come back and I then do an email to us, Terry, tell him what happened. Detroit, nobody cares. He calls me Ann again. It's like the fifth time. Sorry, I'm trying to get my stuff together here. And in the email, he called me Ann again. So I responded with the email and said, Listen, I have, and at that time in my life, I was also starting to set boundaries because the community I was a part of, and that's a whole other story that I'll get into. That's going to be the most exciting. Um, I was also learning to set boundaries and, and when there was a drum circle and this guy asked if he could lay hands on me on my feet and I was like, no, don't, don't touch me because the guy already, <coughs> we already, I already had some weddings with him um, prior <coughs> and I didn't feel comfortable and he did it anyway. So it was like every, every turn I was getting people were testing these boundaries, were testing just when I would simply say, no, don't touch me, they'd do it anyway. Could you call me by my first name, Anne Marie? wouldn't do it and so I you know told the guy I said you know uh, my you know the director I said you know I've asked you this is now the fifth time I'm asking you to call me by my government legal name that you know whatever you know by the name I asked to be called whatever I got fired 